Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. A while ago I made this hatchet, which is actually an axe head on a handle. Um, not really good and it's a lot of heavy weight. I was using this in a video a while ago and a viewer contacted me and said, hey, I've got an extra hatchet head and if you want it, I can send it to you. And I said, thank you. <laughs> so he sent me this one. It's actually a military hatchet head and I'm going to be making the handle out of oak with a little bit of carving. So let's dive in and take a look at it. So for this axe head, we're actually going to be using a chunk of white oak. Now white oak really isn't the absolute best wood to use. It'd be better to use a hickory or an ash, um, but it's good enough for a small handled hatchet that you're really not going to tell that much of a difference. And it's a really decent wood. Um, it's going to be a little bit more painful to work with because it is an open grain, so it tends to splinter a bit more, but we're going to have some fun with this. So the first thing we're going to do is draw out the shape of the handle we want and the shape and size of the tenon on here. And I have a few uh, pictures that I have pulled up from Google that give me kind of shapes and ideas that I'm looking for. Now I'm not looking for anything that's historically accurate to this axe head. I want something that is pleasing to me. So this is going to have some chamfers, it's probably going to have some carving on it, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So let's dive in. Okay, so now we have the rough shape of the handle we're looking for, and the head won't fit. We need to fix that problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to trace out the eye of the head inside here, and start slowly shaping this down until this will slide in. And then we can actually get to hanging the axe head. So um, let's actually start by marking this off, shaping it, and we'll see how it goes. So now we have hung the hatchet head. Uh, it's not quite as tight as I would want, but that's okay. We're going to wedge it and it will fill out nicely. So the next thing we want to do is actually shape this handle because really this is not comfortable to hold on to. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so we're going to do some artistic flows in this. I'm not going to make it completely rounded. I want to do a little bit of an octagonal shape, but who knows, I might change my mind in it. So we're going to start up here by the head and shape down this to fit the head a little bit more and then bring the flow back into the handle. And who knows, we might get into a little carving.
okay, twist my arm. Let's do some carving on this. Next, we need to cut the wedge and the slot that it fits into. This will be a slot running from the back to the front of the eye, most of the way down the head. And then we will be cutting a wedge to slide into that so that this will expand to fill the gap inside the head. So, let's jump into that project. Let's have some fun. Now we've done all the detail work, we've cleaned this up, the handle is the way we like it, it feels good, it's time to actually hang the head. So we've cut the split in it, now we can put it together, drive the wedge in, and do our finish. Now I didn't cut all the way down, and so it slides down about that far and we have to pound it the rest of the way in. So we're going to set the head, cut off the top, and we will have a functioning hatchet.
So there you have it. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Not traditional by any means in that I like the octagonal handle. It feels really good in my hand. The carving is kind of nice. I did have a few problems with it in that I didn't uh, quite fit the head as well as I wanted to. Uh, I should have spent a little more time on that. Oh well, it will work fine as a hatchet, and if I ever need to make another handle, I can make another handle. They're pretty easy. <laughs> so I hope you like this video. I'd love to hear your comments, ideas, what would you like to see me do in the future. Please let me know down below. Also, if you do like this content and you'd like to help out, I do have Patreon. I sell shirts and card scrapers, and that really does help things go on, as I don't have any sponsors in this channel, and I don't want to have any sponsors. I want the words I say to be the words I want to say and not what other people want me to say. So I hope you like that. That's about it for today. Until next time. Have a wonderful day.